Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. I'm your host, Dr. Dad. And I'm Mr. Saiyan. So today we're going to talk about anime consumers. Now, what is a consumer? It's literally anyone who buys or purchases stuff, I guess. Uh, commod uh, anything that's considered a commodity, uh, whether it's um, replenishable or non-replenishable uh, for the most part. And that's really all I am, is a well-informed consumer. So pretty much like uh, any kind of consumables, like video games, anime, DVDs, like collectibles, such as you see in the room tour, the video. Which is literally all, you know, we do. Yeah. We so, yeah, so basically those, those kind of consumables, uh, if you like video games or like certain type of games, like, like uh, anime-based games, RPGs, shooters even... Uh, stuff like that, all part of the consumables genre. And everyone has their own uh, personal preferences and what they push more towards when they buy. Like, are you buying figures? Are you buying uh, collectibles? Are you buying into games? Are you buying into media? Are you buying into audio? Which is part of media. Um, and then you can go into your subsections and then you can look at it from an outside perspective. You've got your cultures, and then you've got your subcultures. And in each culture and subculture, you've got those said areas. For example, like unfortunately in North America, we have Hollywood. Um, <clears throat> we don't really push into the animation industry a whole lot, uh, at least not anymore. Uh, I remember growing up as a kid, there used to be things like you know, Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, Transformers, you know, cartoons was kind of an even playing field with uh, the big movie screen, but now it's actually kind of died out. So, I mean, and I, I miss those things. I enjoyed them. So I've kind of pushed myself more towards uh, what goes on in Japan. Um, let's face it, the art style, it's come a long way from where it was. I mean, going back to the 60s with Astro Boy. Um, it's more appealing, and the mix of hand art and CG is, in some areas, depending on what studio um, and what they produce, nine times out of ten, it comes out really well. Uh, but we, you know, we can't overlook the uh, the forefathers, like for example, Kiri Toriyama, Hayao Miyazaki, uh, Aizo Takahata. So we all know what I collect, you know, I collect anime in general. And I don't collect it because I like a certain anime or uh, because I like, you know, something over another. I collect it based on the fact that if something catches my eye, if I like what I see, then I'll sit there, I'll hum and haul over it. And if I want to shell out cash for it, I'll do it. I'll buy it. Um, whereas... Mr. Sane here, he actually has his preferred, you know, things that he likes to get. Well, there is a few more things that I would like to collect, but for myself personally, I have uh, a huge Star Fox collection, and there's like a few things that I am missing. And uh, ever since then, for years, like ever since in the 90s, that, uh, that game has always been like one of my top favorites that I bought, and I really enjoy it. Even the the whole entire the whole entire series, the storyline, the characters, the famous do a barrel roll kind of deal. Just, just you know, it's always a classic, right? <laughs> I'd have to say uh, the during those days uh, when the Star Fox franchise didn't really lift lift off uh, until more games came out. Uh, it first started out with Pokemon for me, like the cards, the figures, uh, even the little electronic Pokedex that came with it. Then it went from that to Dragon Ball Z figures, like the little action figures that you'd see in like toy stores and stuff. The one you could get from Superstore yeah, Boy them, Isle. They them, were them ones. With them. Yeah, uh, and of course, another one of my all-time favorites was uh, Beyblades. I had a whole bunch of those, mm. and the most... <laughs> Out of all, shut up. You played with Tops as a kid. Yeah, come on, man. Beyblades were awesome. That, the only reason why I lo 
now, now <coughs> back me up here, anybody. The only reason why I like Beyblade so much, and I'm sure most of you guys did back when you were kids, is because you physically had to take part in the action. Instead of you got like your typical training training cards, uh, your trading cards, like you you battle with that. In Beyblade, you had to physically like get into action here, and uh, that's why I loved it because it was physically active. And uh, I had a lot I had a lot of collections of them and stuff like that. But my favorite collection that I had a huge collection of was the Dronzer set that was uh, by the owner by the name of Kai. If anybody's familiar with him. So yeah, Beyblades were actually a really big thing for me too. Honestly, um, I'm since I'm like a much older generation. What really got me started out in collecting was actually Star Wars. Uh, when my mom introduced it to me, it was literally Luke Skywalker's the best. Oh my god! And, uh, I had you know X wings, and then it, I I kind of started diving out of my favorite character and you know what equated with him to more of the broad you know. Uh, spectrum of star wars and then it kind of leaked over with like star trek you know we had collect little those little micro machine collector ships um which honest to god i wish i left in the package because oh, they're yeah. worth money now oh yeah they, they were the little micro machines that you used to get uh back when the old micro machines commercial of the 90s would like come in at the yeah yeah um and the funny thing is my uh i think it was uncle Porky that got it too. Uh, he had a set and he got me and my brother a set and he and he's he gave it to us, and he's like, don't open it. It'll be worth money. <laughs> and, you know, he's giving it to, like, 10, 11-year-olds. And, and that's what I hope my Starbucks stuff will be uh, someday. Well, mostly more of a variety. Besides Star Fox uh, being, like, my overall favorite, favorite game, uh, there's more collections that I'm thinking about thinking about bringing back like uh mostly from childhood and maybe some new things that i may be able to get into because there's been times and times that i've uh and i won't i won't i won't lie i'll, I'll, I'll admit it i uh like a few months ago before i got a job and everything like that i was actually sitting sitting at my house uh actually watching Beyblade. There's still a few things i need to get i need to get the r wing model uh for uh, and the uh, Star Fox zero statue I guess for me, what I'd like to see more of in my collection is I'd like to see more variety of Dragon Ball Z. I haven't really found anything besides the main characters like Goku and Vegeta. I haven't found anything that really caught my eye, you know, more of the already posed statues. Um, but at the same time, I'd like to see my Lucky Star collection uh, grow. But I mean... Honestly, for right now, it's whatever catches my eye, gets into my hand, dollars down, it's mine, it goes in the cabinet. That's really that's really how it works. And if it's something that I, you know, can buy multiple of, like if I have the revenue to do so, I'll buy multiple, I'll put one in the cabinet, and I'll throw one away for, you know, just something to sell later on. I mean, they... They gain value after a while, especially when something is a limited time print. Uh, we'd like to know uh, from you guys in the comments section below what kind of things you collect. Um, and it doesn't necessarily, for this video, have to be anime specific. Alright, so nutshell, let's wrap this up. What kind of collectibles do you have? What's your favorite? What did you pay the most money for? And what would you like to see more of? In your collection leave those down in the comment section below and if you like this video you want to share it with your friends or even if you just want to you know add a little more to uh, what we already just talked about and this you know put it out in the comment section below I mean that's what that section there is for um, and if you like what you see consider subscribing consider giving us a like and we'll keep the videos coming see you everyone see you later